Last night, we ate our first ration bar since leaving the nest. We savored the flavor for two hours. We could taste every nutrient, every chemical compound and trace of foil. Do you know what joining the Kilix does to a person's senses? You get excited over a ration bar. That's cute, Vector. We'll let you know when we try the Chaka noodles. But we did have something more serious to discuss. How do you see our role as an operative on your team? You're a capable partner, and I value your input. And our skill set? Keeper described us as a covert assault agent. Our role as Dawn Herald gives us that capacity. We just don't know if that's the only reason we're here, or if it should be. If there's information you have, or aid you can provide, tell me. I'm still learning your talents. So are we, in a sense. But Agent, our whole life, we've been a diplomat. Whatever else we become, perhaps we shouldn't abandon that so readily. Agent, we hope you don't mind, but we were wondering something. Do you have a family? Siblings, a husband? People to go home to after a mission? A husband? Are you asking if I'm single? That was part of the question. We'd like to hear the answer. No, there isn't anyone. Clear enough? Perfectly clear. We don't mean to pry. We're just trying to understand how you... how anyone in this job keeps a tether to the real world. None of us can exist in isolation forever. You can live apart from the civilian world. You just don't do it alone. We see. It's odd, living outside the nest. There's an intimacy among the kind that can't be replaced. Still, to bridge that gap between persons... We'll remember your advice. You wanted to talk? Yes. The suns are warmer here. Nothing that smells so green when the gamma bursts come. Even the song can rest. We must go. Auras mingle. Apologies, Agent. Emissaries from our nest. They stowed away aboard the ship and have accompanied us since we left Alderaan. They're becoming quite sociable. I don't see a swarm around you. Can they turn invisible? No, but they can grow very large or very small. These live within our flesh. The Kilix of Alderaan know little of the galaxy, only what they absorb through joiners. Our journey teaches them a great deal, but there is something that intrigues us, intrigues the nest. The fate of our lost kin. What lost kin? Alderaan has only a handful of nests, sleeping beneath the castle lands and awakening every few centuries. The other Kilix migrated off-world millennia ago. No one knows what became of them, or whether they survived. But the migration is a primal memory. We miss them. If the Citadel has any record of Kilik encounters, we can find out. We appreciate that, Agent. It may help. We don't know if it's truly important to find them, but as Dawn Herald, we'll be watching. We've been dreaming lately. Great Spitcrete vessels weep dew above the castle lands. Their engines scorch the air. Dartship swarms shade the sky, humming a song of farewell. We remember the Great Migration. When the Lost Nests departed Alderaan. What was the point of the migration? Why did so many Kilix leave? That, we don't remember. Resources, perhaps? But there's something else. In our dream, there is a mosaic that mirrors the stars and shows us the Lost One's destination. We request leave for a pilgrimage agent to follow the first steps of the migrant Kilix. You think the Lost Nests are still out there? 
It's been millennia since the migration, and we doubt we'll see more than dust or petrified shells. Still, the journey honors our kin. We're already packed. I'll be here when you're done. Take care of yourself. And you. So, you made it back from your pilgrimage. Our journey is over. We saw strange worlds and markers set in stone and frozen lakes of steaming colors, but no Kiliks. The colony found planets that suited them, but none that could support them. They divided into a thousand nests, each going its own way to a hundred different stars. I know this isn't the end you were hoping for. We forged a connection to the lost colony. Even if we didn't find it, this means a great deal. In any event, we're sorry. What? There is a scent here. You're not giving up already. We apologize for surprising you, but it took time for us to become aware of your presence. More to find you. But we welcome you nonetheless. We are Dizana, of the Lassi Nest. Dizana, I represent the Sith Empire. Along with Vector Hillis. Yes, but are you Vector? Daisana of Lese. We are Dawn Herald of Ouroboro. Ouroboro? We barely recognize the scent. We thought we'd lost the nests of Alderaan until you followed. Our fleet ship pursued you here. The colony still exists, spun across the stars. Our nests still kin. A trillion and more Killix will dance and sing tonight. Your ship followed Vector on the way back from his pilgrimage. Even after he was gone, he left an impression we could follow. Our emissaries are not far from your own. Let them touch and bring knowledge. Yes, the Lace shall rejoice. She offers dancing and Membrosia the chance to walk the tunnels of the Synapse Comb. The Dawn Herald must come with us. As his partner, you may accompany and share in our joy. I'd love to see a Killix celebration. Lead the way. Don't worry. We'll be out before the pheromones bond to your system. The Membrosia runs in golden rivers. You're doing well. Accompany the joiners, if you wish. Morning comes soon. We're impressed. You held up well. More to the point, you brought together the fragments of an ancient people. We can't fully express our gratitude. We hear the singing of a thousand nests, and are at peace. I'm glad you're in high spirits. Call it a day, then? Agreed, Agent. Agent, we've had time to think since reuniting the Killick colony. Not that our work hasn't kept us busy, but... We didn't actually thank you for allowing our pilgrimage. You should come with us next time. Take a blanket and some rations, go sightseeing under the stars? You just want me alone. We could use a change from Killick Company. You're a novelty. There's something else. In the old days, as a diplomat, we used to be able to read people. Since our joining, that's gotten harder, so we have to be direct. Is our relationship becoming unprofessional? I get to decide what's professional. One advantage to being friendly with your superior officer. Clearly. So tell us, Agent. Just how friendly are we? Come by my quarter some night and... You can find out. That does make things clear. We'd like to continue this, but we've kept you from your duty long enough. The song of the universe will not pause. How are things, Vector? Agent, when we communed with the other nests, we saw a force for change in the galaxy. There are Kilix as large as starships and as small as mites. Join us from a hundred species on a thousand worlds. 
We mean to report on the Kilik colony to the diplomatic service. Not even a smile for me. You are focused today. We are. Still, it's you who inspires us. If the service can make entreaties to the colony, if we make them an ally, we'll have a foothold in the unknown regions. We'd have access to Kilik craftsmanship, joiner information. Even without their military support, they would be invaluable. What would an Imperial Kilik alliance take? We've outlined a proposal. The Kiliks want peace and resources, and the Empire can offer both. And if the Empire doesn't make allies of the Kiliks, someone else may get to them first. However I can assist, say the word. We'd ask you to sign off on the report. Other than that, we'll keep your offer in mind. Thank you. Agent, we heard back from the diplomatic service about our proposed alliance with the Kilik colony. Our report was soundly ignored. It seems we have less credibility than we thought. You worked for them for years. And this is what you get. We are twice compromised, no longer human, and no longer a diplomat. A colleague named Volner S. sent the update on our report along with a message. He wants us to call him, accompanied by our handler. We believe he means you. You worked with him in the diplomatic service? Not directly. Eth spent his time with ex-Republic worlds, while our speciality was first contact. We met several times at conferences and the like, but we wouldn't say we knew him. This should prove interesting. Master Hillis, I'm so glad you got my message. How are you? How's Anya? Anora. We haven't seen her in some time, but we hear she's well. And your son? I'm stationed on Balmora. Still hoping to join the Shadow Fist. And you must be Cypher 9. It's my privilege to meet you. Rest assured, I went through channels to arrange this. Imperial Intelligence has agreed to loan me Vector so long as you're amenable. Vector contacted you about a Killick Alliance. Why would you need him? My superiors don't see the wisdom in Vector's advice. I do. Yet I lack the authority to force the issue. Someone is blocking you? Tarab, Sabini, the usual crew. If I'm to win them over, I need influence. Vector, with your ties from the service and the colony's knowledge, I could amass a string of victories. And the more I succeed through your consultations, the better chance your Kilik Imperial Alliance comes to pass. What's your take on all this? He wants us to play politics, but that is how things are accomplished. Perceptive man. I'll be in touch with specifics. We appreciate your aid and your patience, Agent. We're doing this to serve our people. We don't mean to neglect your company. Tell you what. Next chance we have to slip away, we'll find a planet all to ourselves. We'll hold you to that. Readings are stable. Ah! Our patient is awake. We found you in the plague sleep. We watched, but could not mend you. I appreciate the thought, but I'll be all right. Just exhausted. No, you're not. But this isn't the hive, and we can't hear your thoughts. We respect your privacy. It's been a while since I played ship's doctor. There is something odd here, Cypher. Agent, are you all right? You disappeared on us. I'm better than I've been in a long time. Just follow my lead. Your aura is different. Brighter. We're glad to see you back. 